Hi guys, welcome to the live production of Jolie on Jolie TV Global. It's your girl Jolie. How are you guys doing? Well, well, I'm live right now. Um, come on, guys. I just want us to discuss on divorce, divorce, divorce. So divorce has become an uh, it's become a big issue in our society today. So come on, guys. Let's talk about divorce the number to call me please i need you guys to call i need especially the men to call in <laughs> i need somebody call me on um 234 901 please call me it's whatsapp call only please Call me on 234-901-122-6401. Please call. I'm expecting your call. We're going to talk about divorce. We are going to discuss about divorce today. It's WhatsApp call only. If you can hear me, can somebody say hi? If you can't, then let me know. Please don't make me sit here by myself today. I really need to chat with people. Then if you can't call, you can also leave your comments so that I read it out and uh, we discuss. It's discussion time, you know. It has been, uh, as we saw yesterday, it's a bit of a shock to see the wife of our rude boy <laughs> filing for a divorce. She wants a dissolution. A court dissolution for her marriage. What is the root cause of divorce, my people? What is the root cause of divorce? Why are we getting divorced? Why is divorce on the rampart? Why is the women not being uh, patient as used to be? What is the root cause? What is the solution? Why is there reverse? Where is there divorce? So please, um. And somebody call so that we get this done for today. Um, all right, why I wait for your call? Please, Facebook, don't block me. Or I just want to use this music to entertain my guest. Why I wait for the callers to call in. Then, if they are not calling, then I'll hit. I will have to be the only one doing the show. I see. Don't forget the number to call is two three four. Z um sorry, two three four nine zero one one two two six four zero one. Please. 234-901-122-6401 is the number to call in, please. Being independent and self-sufficient was a really good thing. Okay. I'm still waiting for who's gonna be my first caller for today. All right, um, I can see Basil. Don't forget that the number to call in is 234 901 
one two one or maybe i'm even here okay the number to call in is two three four nine zero one one two two six four zero one this call let's talk about divorce what is the cause of divorce what is the solution to divorce why is our women <laughs> taking harsh decisions these days so calling let's talk mm. all right i can pass you hello all right it seems i'm going to be talking to myself today <laughs> it says i'm gonna be Okay, guys, yeah, um, like I said before, I'm Jolie on Jolie TV. Well, I'm going to be talking to myself today uh, since a lot of people are busy at this hour. I understand, but um, I'm actually here to for us to discuss a little bit on divorce. Why are we having a lot of divorces going on around the globe right now celebrities are divorcing <laughs> normal people like me are divorcing um you know couples that we look up to they are divorcing you know celebrities especially you know we had a shocker yesterday when um, the wife so our rude boy paul lukui um fight for a divorce so that was a shock for some of us because their marriage looked very perfect. Their marriage looked like, you know, all was well with it. Okay, guys. Until... Yeah, I can hear myself. Until it finally hits the rock. What is the root cause of divorce? You know, I wanted an expert to... Uh, what it says. Uh, you know somebody who knows more than you know like a clergy person like um a motivational speaker to talk on this well, fortunately i couldn't get my guest i couldn't get her in today but however let's let me give you a little piece of my you know understanding on the root cause of divorce first what is divorce like people say <laughs> when and uh, when somebody seeks for a legal dissolution to their marriage you know that is divorce um there could be a lot of factors when it comes to divorce i am not divorced so but i know that um most especially it's um it has to do with infidelity yeah infidelity in most cases from the side of the man i'm not saying that the women don't cheat they do but most times it comes from the side of the man you know so infidelity is one of the root cause of um, divorce and marriage then violence 
violence, marital violence, physical violence. Yes, it's another cause of um, divorce. So, um, in any marriage, don't get me wrong, in any marriage, there is always the ups and the down. No marriage is sweet. No marriage is perfect. If someone tells you, oh, my marriage is perfect, to be honest, I think the person is just lying. Because, like I used to say in my previous videos, marriage is a union of two different individuals who have, they don't have, they don't know the history of each other. They don't know each other. You, they, you are from your own side. I'm from my own side. We came together to be. I don't know you for, if you are married, let's say at the age of 25, it simply means that for 25 years of your life, I don't know you. And as for the man, if you're 30, it means that 30 years of your life, I don't know you. So you have your characters, you have your, 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 what you're made up of. And now we are coming together. So it's going to take us time to understand each other. So that's why most people encourage courtship before marriage. But that does not mean that, you know, even couples that courted for a long time do not end up getting divorced. Of course they do. Because some people can pretend, you know, they can pretend so good that you don't even know know their character until you get into a marriage then secondly too some people see the red flag yes they do the they see the problem but they ignore it they, they feel that they can change the person when they get into the marriage which is a big big mistake because never marry a man with the hope that you are going to change that person you can't change a character that have been built for over 20 years you can't change it if you have seen the red flag from the beginning it's better for you to address it from the beginning or better still get out of don't get into that marriage because there's no need of you going in and jumping out that is one one factor that is one factor of the root cause of divorce then violence like i i i for one the only time i advise women to leave their marriage is when there is domestic violence if you're being abused it's advisable for you to leave before you die, it's advisable for you to leave or at least be separated for a while. My belief, uh, my, 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 my religion don't believe in divorce, but if the marriage is violent, it's better for you to leave. If it's toxic, leave. Because you are better off alive than being dead. So, now, um, in recent time, I've noticed that more and more women are filing for divorce, unlike the way it used to be before. Before, before you see a woman file for divorce, I feel that you know she has had it all. She has had it. That's the end. She, has, she can't take it no more. Before now, women women will stay in that marriage. It's a do or die. We will stay there. I rather stay here and die. I ra I rather stay in this marriage and die. But now I've noticed that women have come to the you know to understand that marriage is not is not like they used to say for better for for the worst, you know. So they are, they are filing, you know, more now for divorce than the way it used to be. Why? I think there's a lot of you know. The women are getting to be, to be set aside. They are getting to to they are getting more information. They are getting uh, more civilized, more independent. Knowing now, women know that they can take care of themselves and children. So they now know. I would say that they are well informed now. 
they now know that if they can't take it no more, if it become too spastic, that they had to leave. Which, um, to me, because it's he that wears the shoe that knows where it pinches him or her. So if you feel your, your marriage is very toxic, that from my own belief, I feel it's time for you to leave. But I also notice too that um, couples don't tolerate each other as it used to be. Before, there's a lot of things you tolerate in marriage. There are a lot of things you you hope that it gets better, but never does at the end of the day, you know. So that's why you see couples, they've been in marriage for 15 years, um, 30 years, and yet they still get a divorce. Why? Because they have um, tried to patch it. They have tried to, you know, Trollate each other yet it never worked out so they leave they dissolve the marriage so but um you know before now men usually feel that it's going to be difficult for any woman to leave especially when you have children <laughs> but more the women i'm seeing are proving them very very wrong before a man would tell you well, come leave now Make her see how you will take survive. Leave now, let me see who will marry you. Leave now, let me see how you will make it in life without me. But as you can see, the case is not as it used to be. Women are living gallantly. <laughs> they are living with their head high and they are coping perfectly. So this is not time, you know, when men feels that if 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 the if the woman leaves the marriage that will be the end you know so but in as much as i'm sitting here trying not to encourage divorce but it becomes toxic if it becomes highly abusive i think you should uh, there should be separation so but narrowing back my story to the event of yesterday when um, Paul's wife filed for a divorce. A lot of people felt that um, the, mo the money she demanded was too high. Seven point, um, how much now? 7.8 million naira, which is approximately $15,000. Was too high. I think so too, but <laughs> if the man got the money, why not? Because the time, you know, during the time of my uh, fathers and mothers, the women would just live and they would live with nothing. Sometimes when they live with these children, they are, they are left to suffer and take care of those children. But now, thank God for the court system. Thank God that the world is evolving. The world, everything is changing. If you, if he's here in America, you must take care of those children until they are 18. So child support is paramount here. You, the government get it out of you. Don't if you don't have the choice because you can go to jail for it. So, but asking for let me I uh, used fifteen thousand dollars because she's in America. I don't know the criteria for that, but I do know that does she deserve child support? Yes. Sure. Does she deserve um, to be paid for the years wasted? Yes, of course she, she does. But that amount, she knows what her husband wants. So I will, I will look at it as in, it's left for the court to decide what she truly deserves after the divorce is over. Then, what does the church say about divorce? The church does not support divorce. Yes, the Bible frowns against divorce but things are changing the, the things are changing in the sense that like i said if it becomes toxic it's time for you to leave it becomes life-threatening it is time for you to leave but you have to give it all that you can pray give it your best before 
you you know finally call it a quit and um you know solutions to 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 divorce do we have solution to divorce i think i i feel that the solution starts from the beginning before getting into any marriage you need to understand who you are getting involved with you need to be patient don't be pressured to be to, to be married because there's no need of you to jump in and jump out it is not like um, food that you need to taste and decide whether you like it or not take time to understand the person take time to know if this person is someone who you want to see the face in the next 15 years or 20 years or 50 years if the answer says no don't even get into it observe the red flag observe the red flag because it's always there from the beginning if a man is a cheater, you would know from the beginning. If he's a liar, you will know. If he's a stingy person, you will know. If he's an uncaring person, you will know. The signs are there. But it's just that most women, most men too, because when it comes to violence, men do too. Because I've heard stories on how men are being abused too. Emotionally, financially, you know, physically. So if those signs are there, Please don't get into it. There's no need of you starting something you can't finish because of this, because of the children. Because now these children are going to grow apart, you know, with the mother somewhere and the father somewhere. It's not a very good um, environment to breed children. So I observe the red flag from the beginning and know when to leave. And observe, don't even get him into it. Don't even get him into it. Once you've noticed it's not something you want for yourself, don't get it. Don't, 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 don't get in. Because at the end of the day, it can only get worse. If he's a cheater, for instance, if you know he, you have been visiting him and um, he's always seen with one lady or another, it's a sign that he's, he loves women, so he's going to continuously be bringing in women, you know. And it will only get worse. Because if he's cheating in relationship, he will cheat in marriage. So that, those signs is something that you need to take it serious from the beginning. Take it serious. Don't rush into marriage, period. Then, if you're already in marriage and... Um, some of the dislikes presents itself. Try all you can. Sit for advice. Go for counseling. Some marriages, you know, they've gone very bad. But after counseling and you know, a lot of counseling, it get better. That's if the individuals involved, if they are ready to take a new leave, it gets better. But I would say, give it at least. Give it. A trial try to seek for help try to you know talk to people the expert who knows how to advise um, couples on marital issues and if you have tried all that and it does not work and there is violence it's time for you to leave It's better for you to walk away than and walk to your parents, back to your parents or back to yourself <laughs> alive than being a dead person. You know, sometimes, I guess I know that most women have died in such marriages without their voice not heard because they were not alive to tell their stories. But to the men, like I said in one of my, the last video I did about side chick, because it's become an issue and it's an issue for the men. Sometimes we, we, women don't even know what a man wants. You know, sometimes we don't. But um, I want the men to know that whatever you do today is going to 
affect your future. Forget about the luxury. Forget about you know the women coming in, you know, hovering around you, trying to get the best out of you. Forget about it. A time will come. You will grow old. A time will come. You will need your families around you. A time will come, especially your children. The way you treat them today determines if you are going to live as a lonely man and die a lonely man. Because in most cases, women live with their children. They always live with their children. It's just a very rare you know, um, situation where you see the, the, the woman leave the children behind. But that's like 1%. So most cases, the women live with their children. So it simply means as a man, you are definitely going to be a lonely man at your old age. A time will come, you need your children to visit you, ask about your well-being, call you on the phone. And if you don't treat them right now, when that time comes, you are definitely going to be a lonely man. You'll be looking for love in the wrong places because you have thrown away the love of your life. You have mistaken the love of your life for a side chick. You have, you have a misplaced priority because you felt you, are, you have the well to do now. I can do what I, I want. I can live my life the way I want it. I own myself. So you don't care. But remember, you cannot eat your cake and have it it's not possible whatever you build today is what you're going to uh, you sow today is whatever you're going to reap tomorrow so to our men so please family they say is everything everything bigger than the money you have bigger than your status bigger than your education family is everything so let's try as much as we can not to lose the value that we have for marriage, the value we have for uh, for family, the value we have for ourselves. Build your family the way that it will benefit you at your old age. Because nobody will say, I don't love a peaceful marriage. Or nobody will not call. I, I still call my mom, even though my dad is late, which I believe even for all he was, I will still definitely take good care of him. If you have, if you train your children very well and give them a happy home, they will give you a happy old age. They will take good care of you. But if you live, if you waste your youth, because that's what I'll call it, you have wasted your youth on irrelevant stuff, carrying women everywhere, <laughs> carry women everywhere they help you spend their squander your money then these women will leave when the trouble comes why 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 even start it at the end of the day just for the pleasure of today then you throw away the future well that's all i would have to say on this production my name is julie and this is julie tv global don't forget to like my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i don't talk too much i <laughs> but i believe that um what is what doing is what doing well well, well i'm not here because i'm perfect i'm here because i have something to give and i have something to learn from everybody so from me to you like I used to say in all my videos. Adios, adios, adios. Please don't forget to hook up to my YouTube channel. Subscribe. As I see you in my next production. Thank you. I see Princess Adeke me with me. I see Basil with me. I see T Baby. T Baby, I will wait for your call. You know, try. Oh. I wait for I see T Baby. I see Basil. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those that watch Lera. And thank you. Keep being good. Keep being yourself. And please give life your best. That's what that matters. Give life your best. 